Ajax verða léttari barns í nótt. Fyrsta barn. Slow sips halfway. It helps the brew stay down. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. Her soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned. What news from the north? The pigs were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Faravid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Faravid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish Black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me, or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use! Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabbit wolf. Faravid asked for my silence. Hafton expects the truth. If I'm not careful, these lies will pile up, one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. Faravid has planned an attack on the Picts at Markness. Without you. That twin-faced, backstabbing glory eater! When? Tell me. I won't know until we meet again, at a place called the Walls. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything. Even Moira's brew. Impossible! Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch. She is kind and... <sighs> Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. Heal, Bjornton! We're going for a walk down to the temple. No sense wasting a fine goblet. Here, Fonkath. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Hafton. not here. <sighs> this letter came from Weaker. She must have gone there. We should go to Weaker. Find Moira. Come on out of 
Out of there, you heathen lover! What is this ruckus? Stand back, Dane. There's a witch within that house. We've come to burn it down. She's no witch. She's Hafton's healer. That proves it. Dark magic, that is. Clear out, all of you, before I beat you senseless. Myra, we must go. Before they burn your cutters to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right. I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. I'm as good with words as I am with weapons. It will take some convincing, but I can talk my way out of this. Lead on, then. I shall follow. Go home, all of you. This woman is in my care now. Who died and made you sovereign of Northumbria now? I am the wolf kissed, killer of men, feeder of ravens. Stand back, or I will wear your bones as ornaments. Jesus. E ease up now. We was only protecting our hamlet here. Tell Hafton he can have her. Stop! Leave this woman alone. Even look her way again, and it'll be the last thing you see. Moira, you're safe to go. We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I asked you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean his touch in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton. What goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs. Nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. Often. Good to find you here. The raven feeder returns. I keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there are traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor, search the perches and lookouts here. You could be spying from above. Olav! Speak to us! Where are you?
clinging to life. I should carry him down. Found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. Be <coughs> Anton may track his attackers. Get them, boy. Good boy. Follow their trail. the ground with their blood! Who are these men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. Looks abandoned. Are you sure, sir? The trail ends, but nobody's here. an entrance. He might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of winter's goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond? Hold on, we'll find a way through.
trap. <laughs> The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated, and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah! Here, you see? Spoils of war! Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I am beset on all sides, Eivor. By plotters and schemers. What kings and jarls are not. Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day, decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you, not willingly. <clears throat> she also said she has seen your illness before, in her own family. Said it came on slow, but was incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me. Shh. Listen. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. Halfdan, well met. Come, fill your bellies with mead. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was. that was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl. For battles won and blood let. Eivor, you tell him! They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you deserve pity. So I will give it this once. Return my spoils to Donacasta, and I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it. Killed for it. Bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> <laughs> oh, forgive me, I... 
I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the waltz. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Pichiringo. Press him, Eivor, as hard as you can. Never let up, and bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. These greatest thieves. No right. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine. Yeah. Ferret the rat. Words are poison. It... Eivor! Welcome! Join me in drowning this golden drink. You made it! Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already? <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfra. Poor Ulfur. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Halfton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He's not the same man he used to be. The songs of scalds and the glint of silver can turn even the best of us. He was a fierce man in days past, but he has lost the bite he once had. He's too careful. He ruminates and hesitates. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? <laughs> your horse can smell the ale dripping from your mouth. You frighten her. It warms my heart that you're concerned, but Hulda and I can hold our drink. Having trouble keeping up? My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Yorwick? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishier. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishier and his feared, we'll finish them off. 
You would bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your y'all? Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I'd prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. to touch even a drop of wine since the Yuletide feast. One more reason to stick with ale. I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Risha answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishier cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me. I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again. Until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, king. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done. But today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? To be clear, King Rishia, Hafton knows nothing about this attack. Nothing at all? That's unusual, Faravid. Eivor is mistaken, Lord King. I was given Hafton's personal assurance that you would volunteer your troops. He expects as much. But Hafton is ailing and tired. Let us not burden him with more worry, but please him with a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Without Hafton's formal approval, I cannot help. It's too great a risk. And after all, he is my ally. You understand?
I should break your armors for that. What were you doing? I saw no reason to hide the truth. Richia is a Saxon puppet. He has more to lose than you and I ever will. That serpent cannot be trusted, Eivor. If he tells Hafton of our plan, our victory is at risk. Our victory is for Hafton's own benefit. We will secure Northumbria for him, along with the gratitude of all its Saxon and Norse subjects. Fine. If we falsify orders from Hafton, Rishia will accept them. Cure of Jorvik could help. Good. Jor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. <laughs>